now let us discuss here about two stack pda in theory of computation we know that pda is represented by seven tuples they are q, q sigma tau delta q not z not and f so q means a set of states sigma means input alphabet whereas tau means stack alphabet stack alphabet Next delta is a transition function. Q naught means initial state. Whereas Z naught means the topmost symbol in the stack. Whereas F means uh, final state. Uh, next year generally here uh, we will have only one stack in the PDA. But in order to solve some languages, in order to handle some languages, a single stack is not enough. We need to take two stacks. So that's why this concept is named as two stack PDA. So let us take the language. Let L is equal to A power N, B power N, C power N such that N is greater than or equal to 1. So in order to handle this language, one stack is not enough. We need to take two stacks. Okay. Uh, let us see the possible strings here. Here N starts from 1. If N is equal to 1, then one occurrence of ABC. Next, if n is equal to 2, 2 occurrences of a, 2 occurrences of b, 2 occurrences of c. So, likewise, we can take uh, n number of strings. Uh, now, let's see the logic here. Here, totally, we will have two logics. So, let us see those two logics now. So, let the string is a, a, b, b, c, c. Uh, here, the logic is very, very simple. We have to take st two stacks. So, let the first stack is s1. Let the second stack is S2. Let topmost symbol in the stack 1 is Z0. Whereas topmost symbol in the stack 2 is Z1. Okay. Uh, if the input symbol is A, then simply we have to push that A onto the stack. Onto the stack 1. Okay. Here we have A. So push A onto stack 1. Next input symbol is A. So push A onto stack 1. Next one pop. Next one, next input symbol is B. If the input symbol is B, as well as stack, topmost, stack 1, topmost symbol is A, then pop A from stack 1 and push B into stack 2. Next input symbol is B. If the input symbol is B and if st stack 1, topmost symbol is A, then pop the stack and push that input symbol B onto the stack. Okay. Next, if the input symbol is C, then and if stack topmost, if stack two topmost symbol is B, then pop the stack. If the input symbol is C, as well as stacks topmost symbol is B, then pop the stack. Here, uh, here we know that string ends with semicolon. Epsilon end, uh, specifies that uh, end of the string is reached. Okay. Uh, here, uh, end of the string here string is completely processed. Stack one and stack two is empty. So, we can say that this string is accepted by the push down automata. Okay. Uh, now, let us see one more uh, logic here. Logic 2. Logic 2. If the input symbol is A, then push A onto the stack. Next, if the input symbol is B, then push B into stack 2. Next, if the input symbol is C, then pop A from stack 1 as well as B from stack 2. If the input symbol is C, then pop a from stack 1, B from stack 2. Next, all the characters are processed and stack 1, stack 2 is empty. So, we can say that this string is accepted. Okay. So, now let us, uh, we can implement these two logics. Now, let us work with uh, logic 1. It is somewhat simpler. Uh, so, let us see the uh, logic 1. Uh, let us take uh, uh, the input string as A, A, B, B, C, C. 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 And string ends with uh, epsilon. Epsilon. Here we have two stacks. So this is stack 1. So this is. Uh, so this is stack 1. Next this is stack 2. The topmost symbol in the stack 1 is Z0. The topmost symbol in the stack 2 is Z1. Okay. So now let us draw the diagram. Push down automata diagram. 
transition diagram. So initially we are yet uh, uh, Q naught state. Initially we are yet uh, uh, Q naught state. Q naught state. Here what is the first input symbol? A. A is the first input symbol. A. So it, it specifies that A is the input symbol. And the second argument specifies stack 1 content. Whereas third argument specifies stack 2 content. Here what is the stack stop more symbol? Z0. Z0. If the input symbol is A as well as if stack 1 is empty. Then what we have to do? We have to simply push A onto the stack. So if we push A onto the stack. Then the content of the stack will become A Z0. Okay. So Z0 will be replaced with a z naught. So if stack stop more symbol is z naught, then we have to replace z naught with a z naught. So this is nothing but content of s one. Okay. Next, next here what is stack two? It, it is empty. Top more symbol is z one. If the input symbol is a, and if the stack two top more symbol is z one, then don't perform any operation. Simply keep z one as it is. So we have to keep Z1 as it is. There is no need to perform any operation. Okay. Next. Next. What is the next input symbol? A. If the input symbol is A. And here what is stack 1 topmost symbol? A. What is stack 1 topmost symbol? A. If the input symbol is A. As well as stack 1 topmost symbol is A. Then simply we have to push A into stack 1. So now push A into stack 1. Okay. Next. If the input symbol is A as well as stack 2 topmost symbol is Z1, then don't perform any operation. So keep Z1 as it is. Okay. Next. Next, let us focus on this A is over. Now let us focus on B. Let us focus on B. Okay. Uh, if B is read on Q0, then we have to change from Q0 to the Q1 state. For the first B, if the input symbol is B, if the input symbol is B, as well as if stack one topmost symbol is A, if stacks topmost symbol is A, then if stack one topmost symbol is A, then simply we have to perform the pop operation. That pop operation is denoted by epsilon. Epsilon indicates that we are performing the pop operation. So pop A from the stack. Next, if the input symbol is B. As well as if the stacks topmost symbol is Z1, then what we have to do? Simply we have to push B onto the stack. So if you push B onto the stack, then the content of the stack will become BZ1. BZ1. So next change from Q0 to the Q1 once we read input symbol B. Next, after 1B, we can read any number of Bs. So for that purpose, let us use the self loop. Let us use the self loop. Okay. We can have any number of B's on this state. Okay. Q1 state. Here what is the input symbol B? If the input symbol is B. As well as. If stack 1 topmost symbol is A. Then simply pop the stack. So pop A from the stack. Next. If the input symbol is B. As well as stack 2 topmost symbol is B. Then what we have to do? If stacks 2 topmost symbol is B. Then simply we need to perform the push operation. So if we, so this B will be pushed onto the stack. This B will be pushed onto the stack. So now the content of the stack will become double B. Okay. Next. Next. So here uh, two Bs are also over. So next we have to read C. So for the first C on Q1, we need to change the state from Q1 to Q2. Okay. Uh, next let us focus on C. Let us focus on C. Now stack 1 is empty. Whereas stack 2 contains two Bs. Okay. If the input symbol is C and stack and stack 1 topmost symbol is Z0. That means if stack 1 is empty, then don't perform any operation on stack 1. So keep Z0 as it is. But if stack 2 topmost symbol is B, then simply perform the pop operation. So pop means we have to write as epsilon. So now this B will be popped from the stack. So now we have to move from Q1 to the Q2 state. So on Q2, we can apply any number of C's. The next input symbol is C. If the input symbol is A and if the stack 1 is empty, 
then don't perform any operation on stack 1. If the input symbol is C and if stack 2 topmost symbol is B, then pop the stack that is denoted by epsilon. Okay. Now, what is the next input symbol? Epsilon. Stack 1 is empty, stack 2 is empty. So, we can say that this string is completely, this string is accepted by the PDA. So, what is the last one? Here, we reach at the end of the string. So, what is the last character? Epsilon. If you read epsilon on Q2, then don't perform any operation on stack 1 and stack 2. What is stack 1 topmost symbol? Z0. So, keep Z0 as it is. Z0, comma Z0. And what is stack 2 topmost symbol? Z1. So, keep Z1 as it is. So, keep Z1 as it is. So, next we have to move from Q2 to the QF. Here, QF represents final state. So, here this QF is nothing but final state. So, in this way, uh, we can implement two stack PDA with the help of an example. So, here the best example for this one is n number of A's followed by n number of B's followed by n number of C's where n is greater than or equal to 1.